championship rounds are upon us. Round at number four, Duke Rufus wants Pettis to pump the jab. Wants him to break the rhythm of Horaguchi. It's not about accuracy, he says. It's about volume, and Horaguchi again closes the gap quickly, looking for the takedown defended by Pettis. Counter right hand again lands for Pettis. And Horaguchi runs right over Pettis into the guard. Beautiful knee pick by Horaguchi, just drives through. Pettis trying for the elevator sweep, does not get it. And what Pettis is doing right there, he cannot do what you're seeing. That figure four on the body is only going to hold Horiguchi in the top position. He's got the ability to land the bigger, heavier strikes. Pettis has got to move. He's got to open up that guard, either attack with submissions, look for the sweep, or get back to the standing position. back on his feet allows Pettis to get back up to a vertical base. There's the jab that splits the guard of Pettis lands. Gucci misses with the low kick. And we're seeing Pettis open up a lot more. He's taking more chances, but by taking more chances, he's also giving opportunities and openings for Horaguchi to exploit. Throwing eight punches in the first two minutes of the fourth round is taking more chances. We've got a fight here that we've seen a lot of the fainting and there. Pettis opening up on Horaguchi. Yeah, he had a beautiful left hand. Yeah. Based upon it. Pettis now starting to swing for the fences. He's really trying to load up on his shots. That's not his normal style. His normal style is to just touch you and eventually break you down with the shots. He does have power in his hands. He just oh, lead left hook to the body that lands. The best punch of the fight for Pettis. And we are not seeing the jab that Duke Rufus wanted Pettis to try to use to break Horaguchi's rhythm. And there's a jab from Horaguchi that lands. Oh, he's out. He's out. Are you kidding me? Sergio Pettis pulling it out like we talked about. He had to do something spectacular. says it all. Horaguchi winning this entire fight. Take a look. Misses with the kick, but hits the spinning back fist. He is out. Does not follow up. Look at that shot right on the jawline. Horaguchi is out going down. 
That's why you fight the fight, and that's why championship fights are five rounds. Take a look at how fast this truly happens. Here comes the kick. It misses Bowden. In highlight reel fashion, Sergio Pettis just solidified his status. He said he could not call himself the real Bellator MMA Bantamweight champion until he defeated Higuchi. He destroyed Horaguchi. A monstrous knockout win for Sergio Pettis, successfully defending the Bellator Bantamweight Championship for the first time.